people who actually made the Linux famous are, I think, and I should give a hats up to Ubuntu because they tried really, really hard to make, you know, uh, to give people an alternative to, you know, Microsoft uh, and Mac desktops. Ubuntu, and then we have Red Hat, that's a commercial. Uh, Debian, again, that's not owned by any company. It is a community driven software known for its stability, Slackware, Gentoo, and many. Ubuntu Netbook servers. I mean, Linux mostly became famous because of these three things Ubuntu, uh, that is owned by Canonical.com, Netbooks, uh, that is not laptop but smaller than that for small purposes, servers. It is known in you know, server industry especially, Linux is very famous. Uh, it is replacing all the Linux oper all the Unix operating systems or the Unix servers. And GNU project of course, that is the main contributor to the Linux community. The term Linux is derived from Linus Thorvalds. I'm sorry for that X, please delete that and make it as an S. It's Linus Thorvalds wrote the original Linux kernel in 1991. Why he did that? Let's see. Linux kernel plus components such as X Windows and all other no GNOME and KDE desktop environments or maybe Firefox and some applications. They all the libraries. These are all you know from GNU project. Okay. I mean not all of them but yes I mean most of it is from GNU project. So they make and all of them make the Linux operating system. GNU project was first announced by Richard Stallman in 1983 when I was born. I do not know why. Uh, change that spelling. It's not we. It's why he was waiting for my birth. Actually, he was not. But I'm supposed. But it just happened. You know, I <laughs> it's got nothing to do with it, guys. I'm just. I included that as a smiley there. All right. I was actually born born in 1984, but my parents changed my date of birth to 1983 because they wanted me to go to school early so that now they can get it up at home right so under the hood of all Linux operating systems there is GNU Linux that means most of it most of the Linux stuff is from GNU Linux so they all utilize software and stuff you know, provided by GNU Linux GNU Linux is a project first implemented Unix okay let's go back to Unix. So Linux came from Unix. So what is Unix? First implemented in 1969 at AT&T Bell Laboratories in USA by Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie, Douglas McRoy and Joe Sana and first released in 1971. And you must be thinking now, oh okay, I mean why did AT&T, you know, you didn't use it? I mean they should have made a lot of money. They are the losers. No, they are not. If you th want to think that way, then think about Xerox. They are the one who actually invented networking okay they never knew what to do with it they are the one who actually invented folder structure they are the one who actually invented graphical user interface can you believe it can you believe it and they did not do, know what to do with it so they called uh, these two guys you know one from Mac a guy from Mac you know who and a guy from you know, Microsoft you know who and they did it so they did it. Unix transformed. Okay, let's move on. Unix transformed from assembly language uh, to C language in 1973 by Dennis Ritchie. I think this is the first stepping stone, right? First uh, stepping stone for the birth of Linux. Uh, since it was written in C, it was you know, widely copied, modified by institutions and businesses, and it, is, it, it also influenced many others. Such others are. Richard Stallman created GNU project in 1983, created Free Software Foundation in 1989, started his work on 1984, that's my real birth year, yes, authored or wrote GNU General Public License, that is called GPL, that is what we say GPL, GPL right now, alright, 1984, okay, why did they do it? Create complete Unix compatible software system composed entirely of free software. That was the aim of Richard Stallman, and he did it. By the early 1990s, many important components like libraries, compilers, text editors, a Unix shell, and a windowing system were ready. But device drivers were not ready. That was a major down. D 
demons were not ready and mostly colonel was not ready hmm. linus thorvalds has said that if the gunu colonel had been available at the time 1991 he would not have decided to write his song hmm. so you got an opportunity there so i mean we know that you know linux came from unix right and in unix uh, thorvald uh, richard stallman you know tried you know creating these projects and tried developing these things and then linux thorvalds you know created linux kernel but where did he get it let's go here is a man andrew west tanenbaum right most of the times so you know you don't know him i mean okay i heard of richard stallman but i never heard of this guy or i know linux guy and who is this guy Yes, you will know. Minix was a cheap, minimal Unix-like operating system designed for education in computer science, written by this guy Andrew. In 1991, while attending the University of Helsinki, Thorvalds, that is Linus Thorvalds, began to work on a non-commercial replacement for Minix. All right, which would eventually become the Linux kernel. So that is how Linux kernel came into existence. Thorvalds began the development of Linux on Minix and applications written for most of the uh, what, what he did is actually he uh, took that as a model and he created his own kernel uh, uh, and then he actually used most of the Minix applications as and uh, put them in so Linux matured and became and it became possible for Linux to be developed under itself now the GNU applications uh, uh, replaced all Minix app uh, and no, Minix uh, once because GNU already GNU project already had and uh, many applications all they were missing is the linux kernel now thorvalds gave it to them you know uh, and uh, because he was inspired by minix so in order to make the linux kernel compatible with the components from the kernel project thorvalds initiated a switch from his original license which prohibited commercial redistribution to the kernel gpl commercial and popular uptake okay embedded systems to supercomputers everything used linux and i forgot to add one more thing 95% okay of all the animation studios use linux that means your dreamworks disney or you now all these 90% okay they used linux operating system you should be aware of that secure a place in several installations with the popular lamp application stack that is true popularity with various local and national governments yes popularity with newly founded network market like asus epc that's an example is or aspire one indian state of kerala has gone so far as to make it mandatory for all state high schools to run linux on their computers hmm how good is that see that's amazing and china uses linux exclusively as an operating system for its lungsen processor family to achieve technology independence that is good the linux based system is a modular unix like operating system of 1970 and 1980s so basically linux was created in the image of unix like you now let's just like uh, uh, as they say in bible when you know, god created us in the image of himself so the same way i mean i'm not saying you know unix is god or something but just giving an example here it's a command line interface or cli or graphical user interface the like kd gnome you know, xfce are all the part parts of you know the operating system linux so opportunities uses and benefits are as vast as our imagination that means they are endless wherever you want to use it all you need is you need a little knack so here are some pictures to know uh, for those whoever is bored of these slides first one is the susa the desktop i think this one is mandriva this one i'm not sure but yes i think it's ubuntu then we have a mobile phone a smartphone developed on linux you got servers and servers designed for linux end of slide right so this is the end of it okay and i'm going to see you when i see you thank you you have a great day